Well, you can see what a state of a day it is here now at uh, Oakwell. It's chucking it down and it's thoroughly miserable for all Norwich City fans. They've lost here 2-1. 2-0 down at half-time, completely fair enough as well. They just weren't at it. And given everything that we'd heard before the game today, you just imagine... Well, it's difficult. I, you, they had to be prepared and ready to come up against a side that were going to outwork them and were going to run around. And part of me thought that that was the reason why Alec Neal had started with both Murphys, to inject that pace into the side. The other bit, though, we kind of got was there was... They, they were very calm and relaxed about the prospect of coming up against a side that was going to work so hard. And you just hoped that they would actually be up for this. And you've got to be honest, they, they didn't really seem up for it in the first half. They got run ragged. They, they lost every battle, pretty much, on the pitch. And that was an aptitude thing. But as Alec Neal mentioned, he also got the first... He got, he got his team wrong for the first half. And it's not the first time he's done it. It, it. Regardless of his tactical shape and what he wants the side to do, he's picking the wrong side. And he made two changes, defensive changes at half time, and the whole 11 looked better because it had a better balance to it. Ultimately, therefore, it has to be the manager's fault that the first half, as a collective, weren't good enough. Now, I tweeted it before the game. Basically, Alec Neal's substitutes bench had four defensively minded players on it out of seven. His 11 on the pitch had three, three you'd call genuinely defensive minded players and one of those was the goalkeeper. So I don't know how any of this wasn't infinitely predictable from the moment the team sheet was in. Um, and it felt like it was, a, well, we're going to outscore you. The problem was they didn't have enough battle on the pitch to win the ball so they could do that, really. And this was a sorry mess. In, in truth because when you lose five games on the trot you can't make up for that with one result it takes weeks and weeks to build it back up as good as a 5-0 win is and ultimately the problem now is that that momentum has gone and Norwich are in a in a real hole again I, I can't understand at the moment having watched this today how this is not significantly an issue with Alec Neal <laughs> that's the reality of it he's picked the wrong side and it's completely done for Norwich in this game and they were much better in the second half and they got their goal and Nelson Oliveira was was very good in the second half and there were some really good performances in the second half but if the reason they weren't very good in the first half is basically because the balance of the 11 wasn't very good because that's what the manager chose and he's since admitted it and apologized for it I don't really know where you go from there where you really do go of course is Carra Road and uh, Aston Villa visiting on Tuesday night ahead of Huddersfield's visit on Friday of course, Aston Villa will be managed by Steve Bruce. And uh, I, know, I know the views of several fans in terms of, uh, of Steve Bruce and whether he could have come back to Norwich, whether that would have been on, who knows. But uh, at the moment, Norwich are in a, a, a hole. And it, it's hard because we, the words weren't just said for effect before the Brentford game. We, we all kind of felt that the manager was in a position where it looked like it wasn't working and needed changing. You can't then change it off the back of one week and then go back again we're literally on the back of this in a kind of desperate situation where Norwich needs something that I'm not entirely convinced they can give against Villa on Tuesday and while you all hope that you're proved wrong sadly a result like this doesn't do you any favours whatsoever just a point on Norwich's bench today as well as I was speaking to Chris Gorham earlier every one of them apart from the goalkeeper so all six outfield substitutes full international regulars at the moment or certainly would be um, have been in the last year. Players are good enough. <laughs>